Newton versus Leibniz, the calculus war. Two men invented calculus, but only one history remembers. In the late 17th century, Isaac Newton and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz independently developed the mathematics needed to describe change, motion, and infinity at a moment when science could not advance without it. Leibniz published first, clearly and openly, introducing a notation that made calculus easier to learn and apply. Newton had developed his own method years earlier, but kept it private, delaying publication out of fear of criticism and obsession with priority. When Leibniz's work appeared, suspicion exploded, and Newton became convinced his ideas had been stolen. What followed was not a neutral scholarly debate, but a political and institutional war. As president of the Royal Society, Newton controlled the committee investigating the dispute, effectively judging his own case, and the final report favored him. Leibniz was publicly discredited in England and died with his reputation damaged. Both men invented calculus, but Newton controlled the institutions that shaped memory. On the European continent, Leibniz's notation prevailed and powered future mathematics, while in England, Newton's dominance isolated British science for decades. This wasn't just a fight over mathematics. It was a fight over who would be remembered. If you think ideas win on merit alone, follow. <laughs>